Yo YouTube, what's going on y'all? It is your boy Demian and I'm back with another video. And in today's video, I'll be talking about a player in Andrew Nemhard and why this guy is basically a star is on the rise and why basically you should look at him now. But if you are new, like the video, comment, and subscribe. I got like a different setup today, so I'm gonna sit down and talk to you guys about Andrew Nemhard and I'll get started in the video for today's segment. So for Andrew Nemhard, he's giving you nine points three rebounds, and almost four assists per game. That's pretty good numbers. Andrew Nemhard, he's basically a 20-year-old. He's six foot four, can play a point guard position, and he's been very good for the Indiana Pacers team. Yeah, he basically almost scored a game winner the other night on the Lakers, and the guy basically forgot, like, added their game. Oh, my long oh. rebound. Halliburton. Hold oh, no, on, he held on it too long. Nemhard away. Got it. And he basically, the whole crowd went crazy, and everybody else went crazy, and that's pretty good to see. And then a couple of days ago versus the Golden State Warriors, when the Pacers faced them, they won the game. Andrew Nemhard got a good 30-point performance. The guy has 31 points, almost, I think he had double assist numbers and a fair rebounding margin. This guy went crazy. But Andrew Nemhard, I think he's a good prospect. He's a very good point guard. He basically reminds me of somewhat of a Jalen Sugg from last year's draft because he's very, he's very tall. He's very lengthy, and he can play a point guard along with Tyrese Halliburton. That one up in Indiana is going to be insane. And also, ne Andrew Nemhard is almost shooting about 40% from three, so that's beyond league efficiency as a league average for three pointers is basically at 35%. And he's basically a given free throw shooter. So when he gets fouled at the line, he can always make his free throw. So, Andrew Nemhard, I think he's very good. Like, what, it, what, what Indiana is building right now is very special because you have Tyrese at the one, you have Bannock Master at the two, you have Buddy Heald, you have Miles Turner. And then you have Jalen Smith. Oh, that line can be nasty. But for Andrew Nemhard, off the bench or even that starting lineup, he basically fits in very well. Like the Pacers are building like almost what, to what the Raptors build, either long, lengthy, and they can basically just have a stretched core. Like it basically built how the Raptors team built. You have basically a good point guard like Tyrese Hoburn. That's like basically giving you almost Chris Paul numbers. And then you have Miles to stretch big like a sort of sort of such a rocker role like in Toronto. But Andrew Nemhard, man, this guy's very good. He doesn't have any more to say. Um, I basically better stats. He's shooting with 3 and 3 And yeah, he's only giving me three rebounds a night. So that's very good for a point guard. Three rebounds is very good because at six foot four, he's most taller than most point guards. As the evolution of point guard is now changing, as many point guards now, they're either six foot three, six foot four. And it's very good to see. So Andrew Nemhard, man, I think for his rebounding ability, is very nice. He can shoot a three, he can pass the ball a bit, and he can score within almost 10 or 20 points a night. So that's very good. Though he's giving you 10 points on average. That is very great. He's giving you a steal per game on the block. So this guy can basically be a star, man. Like, I don't, I don't know. But Andrew Nemhard basically right now, he's very good. Yeah, so for Andrew Nemhard, his true shooting is at 59%. And his usually is almost at 20%. So that's very good for a rookie. Though he's not really used in the Pacers offense like that. It's very good, basically, for Andrew Nemhard basically to facilitate in the offense. And to be a good part of the team. But for Andrew Nemhard, I like how he plays. He's very crafty. He's very smooth. He's very creative. But yeah, Andrew Nemhard, I think he's a very good player. He's very poised. He's very creative. He's very cool. And like the Raptors, I think they should have gone with a second round pick because the Raptors, they basically had a chance at him, but they basically missed him, I think. I think the Indiana Pacers picked him up early, but he would have been nice on his Raptors squad and have been guys like Fed Van Vliet, basically Malachi Flynn and others. But yeah, Andrew Nemhard, he's underrated. Yeah, so for Andrew Nemhard, he shoots most of his shots at the rim and even to the three point line, he spends it out there and he can shoot the mid range. And he can basically just shoot almost anywhere in the court. As he's shooting right now, he's shooting almost 50%. He's shooting almost 50% from the three. And basically for his points assisted on his 33% of them. And at the rim, he basically takes almost about 78% of his shots. So he basically makes, so he basically his assisted for points at the rim is basically 53%. So the guy can pass, he can pass to the rim and get to the rim and he can shoot through, he can shoot whenever. That's very good. But yeah, for Andrew Nemhardt against the Warriors, like I said, he got you 31, 8, and 13. And that's 31 points, 8 rebounds, and 13 assists. And he basically does against the Warriors, some of the best team in the NBA right now, though there's something. But they're playing very well. But yeah, I think Andrew Nemhardt, he can be a good pick. He's a very good player, and uh, his upside goes from here. Indiana Pacers being a Warriors team is not easy. And like you said, you have, they had Steph Curry, I'm pretty sure they had Clay, and they had basically Draymond. Though the Warriors aren't really there, but... Yeah, for Andrew Nemhard, I think on that night, um, yeah, he basically had all the, the basically the best Warriors players out there. So yeah, I think Andrew Nemhard can be a good pick for this guy. And he's a second round draft steal. He basically like the Desmond Bain to draft, though he was drafted in the second round. But Andrew Nemhard is a good player. I like his up, I like his potential. I like his upside. He's a very good player. And um, yeah, Andrew Nemhard, I think he basically has the potential to be a good enough 
backup guard in the league. Like if the Raptors picked him up, he would have basically been what Malachi Flynn was, but a bit better. But basically they have a good thing that they have basically have a Geminis guy and an Emhart and this guy's gonna get better. So yeah, I don't remember anything else I gotta say. Oh yeah, also, also there's another thing to add. He basically also played for Gonzaga and he basically I'm pretty sure he played alongside Chet Holmgren. So I remember when he was on I remember he's on Gonzaga, basically that duo with basically Chet Holmgren and him would be very much insane. Like you have basically a thick point guard at six foot four, and you had Chet that was seven foot, and I'm pretty sure he played pretty well in college. That's very great to see, though he's not really with Chet Holmgren right now. But I think in Miles Turner he basically is like I check home a little bit smaller because he's a stretch four. But yeah, he, played, he came from the university in Gonzaga. Um, he has a very good upside. Um, he can he can facilitate, he can pass, he can playmate, he can do everything for you. So um, yeah. And yeah, also for Andrew Nemhard, I'm not going to really look at this, but he's a decent shooter. He can actually score to dribble. He can post up smaller defenders. He's very creative in the clutch and he's a solid playmaker. And basically for his cons, he, he's not, he can't really shoot consistent. And uh, can I say he's like a, he basically, I want to say he's kind of like a Kyle Lowry or a younger version of Chris Paul. The whole defense isn't really there yet, but I could say basically on Chris Paul's level for a rookie and Kyle Lowry statue. So that's what I got to say for Andrew Nemhard. If you like this video, um, I think Andrew Nemhard is a very good prospect. Um, his potential is going to be there. So yeah, I think he's a very good player. He basically, for the last, for his last couple of games, I'm, I'm pretty sure he's giving you almost double digits a night. Uh, and yeah, for Andrew Nemhard's last almost three games before the Warriors, though he played a bit bad, on the third and fifth of the Warriors, we know that. They're pretty good to give you 16 points, basically 8 assists and 6 rebounds. Then against the Jazz, they give you 13 points, 4 rebounds, and 10 assists. And against the, the Lakers, they gave you 12 points, 4 rebounds, 1 assist, and 1 steal. As they hit that game winner and 2 blocks. So for Andrew Nemhard, the guy is very active on the, on the defensive end. He can play make for others. And he's always wants the record that assist number is always really, is always points in per game isn't really high. But yeah, that's really what I was saying. Andrew Nemhard is always about 10 minutes. So if y'all like this video, like this video, it's your boy Demi baby and uh we're on the road to 400 so you can hit that subscribe button like and do all that diligence it'll be very good to see man but if you are new like the video and your boy demian i'm out man peace